you, Mr. Havenstein. Next question comes from Edith Tucker, the Coas County Democrat, and it goes to you, Mr. Havenstein. Mr. Havenstein, natural gas prices are 30 to 50 percent cheaper in other parts of the Northeast. How can manufacturers in this state remain competitive with that sort of disadvantage? Yeah, they can't remain competitive with that sort of disadvantage. So we have to increase capacity. Increasing capacity and supply will help drive down the cost of natural gas into our state, to our generators, and most importantly, we've got to get it to our homes. Right? It doesn't ha do us any good to have capacity and not get it to the places where we need it, and our homes are part of that solution. Investments by the natural gas companies to not just to deliver the natural gas to our industrial users, but to our home users is also very, very important. I would also tell you, it's not just a question of natural gas. We have got to get working on sol broader solutions of base electric power, and that is going to have to mean large-scale hydroelectric uh, uh, programs as we go forward. Governor? Well, certainly, as we work to bring more capacity to this region so we can increase the supply and lower prices, uh, we also have to help our businesses stay competitive in other ways. So we will focus on energy efficiency. We have some good programs in the state. We're reaching out to try to help all businesses understand what they can do to be more efficient, to use less power, as, as is true for our families as well. But the other things I hear from businesses is that the most important thing to them to stay competitive is having a 21st century workforce. So we focused on lowering the cost of college education. We focused on aligning higher education and our K through 12 system uh, with the business needs of the, uh, the, work, the workforce needs of our business community and we'll continue to take a multi-pronged approach as we have in our innovation strategy, a strategy we put together with the business community and members of both parties and have been setting in motion since I entered office. Right, we're going to move forward to